Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So a couple of weeks ago, I cut down a couple mesquite trees, and I'm letting this wood season. However, I cut these logs just a little bit too long for my barbecue pit. I did try a couple pieces, and I need them more like this long, and I need to split them at one point, too. So I'm going to come through. I'm going to pull the ones that are already the right size. But I've got this, and this is going to really help. Trying to cut all these by hand is a big job. And it works pretty well. It's not perfect, but it was cheap. Now, always be careful with a chainsaw, of course. And these gloves aren't, I mean, it'll go right through them, but a little bit of protection is good. Probably want to use eye protection as well. This thing was pretty inexpensive. I think I spent like 50 bucks on it, 60 maybe, somewhere around there. And it's been a real handy tool, I'm telling you. It's a good chainsaw too, it's not bad. It does what I need it to do. But it is not perfect, being so inexpensive. Uh, the chain, so I'm gonna pull this off so I don't chance. The chain keeps loosening on me, which I need to tighten right now. So after a couple, I gotta come and loosen it. I gotta grab that screwdriver to do that. All right, super simple to tighten, uh, to loosen it. You just unscrew this a little bit, and then you can, now, always do this with the battery off. You don't chance getting that to come back on you. See how that works. This one I'm going to cut in half. So the reason why I'm doing this is it's going to help it cure faster. So I can cut into smaller chunks to what I'm going to use and then split these. That'll allow air in, more surface area for air to get in. Instead of having to wait, you know, six months, it might be a little bit less. I mean, it's not going to be incredibly less time, but it'll be a little bit quicker. And I have used a couple of these pieces. I try to use the smaller pieces like this. Um, I do have some that kind of died on the tree that I've been using, like here. These are pretty brittle. Like that, that's pretty brittle. A lot of these are actually good to go versus these. So for now, I think that's good. I'm gonna split these, go grab my ax for the bigger ones, and then you'll see what I do with the smaller ones. All right, here's a stump. It's a small stump, but it's the biggest one that I have. And I left it here so I could split. I have it raised up a little bit so I can swing at it a little easier. And this is the ax I've got. It's actually a felling ax, but it works. It's, it's, got enough of a wedge that it can kind of do something. So we'll get a piece. There we go. And I can further split this smaller. I'm noticing that in my barbecue pit, I want real small pieces because, I mean, this is way too big. I want something, you know, split split about that small right there. I'm sure you probably know what I'm going to be doing here. This is called batoning. So I got this as a K-Bar BK2. As you can see there, it's got a real thick spine to it. It's not super long, but it works perfectly for getting some of these pieces much smaller, and you'll see what I mean. So, so you want to put the knife over it, Grab another long piece of wood. And it's called batoning. And you're just splitting. And so I like to split these. I like to get a mix of some real thin stuff to kind of start the fire and then some thicker stuff. So that would be considered real thin. It 
probably going to season a little quicker as well if it's real small. So what I'm doing with these smaller pieces. But you can get you get a fairly good sized piece. I mean, some of those that I was using the axe for would have been fine for this. It's actually a nice light piece. I can tell this one's actually already seasoned. You can see how that all broke apart real easily. It means this wood is getting brittle and dry. So it's real good. Get this down one more size. And be careful, you know, I'm wearing gloves here for the, holding the, the stick. I've got a longer stick here and it's just thick enough. I mean, you can get a little bit bigger, but it's easier for me to hold something like this. Just get longer and I feel I get more leverage with the hit. It doesn't have to be a big fat stick. And then of course you can break these down even smaller, these bigger pieces that I use the axe for. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this until I get all those split. And then I'm gonna stack some of them here underneath my grill, then the other ones I'm gonna stack over there. So have you guys ever seen that kind of bug before? I sure haven't. I have no clue what that is. It's kind of weird. No longer a bug, but just weird. Right in the center of this, split it open, it was sitting right there. So I processed all that, took me about 15 minutes, not too bad. I still got some of this, but I mean, it's split. And I think I'm gonna go put this as a base to sit some of these on, because these would be way too fine, they'll fall through. Start stacking. go it's all stacked it's not a ton of wood but i filled it up down there i had way too much i guess so this is all going to go back over to the hold pile i hope this was informative and helped you guys if you didn't know how to baton wood so thanks for watching everyone if you like this kind of content please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates and i will see you on the next video now you guys try to escape the daily grind